It's been a minute, okay? It's been a little minute, okay? <laughs> but I'm back now, okay? Okay, and so today's video is going to be a smoky brown gold eye, honeys. Yes, I have no earrings on. My phone is downstairs, so I'm gonna have to take pictures when I come back and all that. I'm running out the door, okay? So, but yes, if you wanna see how I achieve this look, you know what you gotta do? You gotta keep on watching. Yes, wig details will be in the uh, description bar below. This is not one that I made. My mom actually um, gave this one to me. But yeah, I don't wanna ramble. So, if you wanna see how I achieve this look, y'all know what you gotta do, stay tuned. Hey guys, I know it's been a minute, okay? I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, life got in the way, my work life, all that. We're gonna hop right into it. I've already done my brows, pretty much. Um, and I'm gonna go in with the Mel Cosmetics Classic, which is what I always do, nothing different to set my entire eye. I will tell you this, I did not put any extra concealer on my um, eyelids. I just used the NC35 that I use, Studio Fix from MAC, that I used to under um, define my brows, just bring them out a little bit. So that I think is different. Okay, so then, um, the dogs are up here with me. They have not been fed, it's not, their, it's not their feeding time. So, don't even try it, okay? If they start whining, it'll be because they're just whining. Okay, all right, so, <laughs> I'm going, I'm looking for my um, Inklot 6SS brush. I cleaned my, my look, I cleaned my counter, and then my counter. Y'all y'all know what I'm trying to say. I clean my little makeup area and then I have all this other stuff under here. Okay, so anywho, let's go in with um, Blur. Mel Cosmetics Blur. Same, 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 same. Same, same. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this and we are just going to start to build up the crease area. Nothing new. Same. <laughs> So before I take it on over to some palettes, um, I cannot put my hand on my um, MAC, uh, what the heck is that called, they discontinued? I can't remember. Anyways, I can't, I can't put my hand on it. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with uh, Mel Cosmetics Rubbish. Rubbish, um, yeah, I'm, I couldn't even tell you what that darn color is. Uninterrupted, yeah, that's it, uninterrupted. So. We're gonna go in with um, rubbish instead to just continue to deepen up the crease. I'm gonna go a little smoky today. Um, we'll see how it turns out. Okay. <laughs> okay, found it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with uninterrupted. Oh, I love this color. Love, 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 love. Anyways. Okay, so I am going to just continue to deepen up the crease. Like I said, we're gonna go a little smoky, but I just wanna make sure the um, area outside the smoke is nice and blended and has a nice little wash of color. So th these are the ones that I love doing this for my skin tone. You know, honestly, these kind of work for any skin tone. I would say you would use a different brush if you wanted more color or less color, depending on the skin tone. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with that. You know what, I need to put this somewhere where I won't lose it, how about that? Mm -hmm. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the Max Blush in Devil. I love using this um, kind of like all over the upper part of the crease. And I'm gonna go in with this right in the middle and just blend back and forth. So we get a nice little orangey wash of color. Kind of like that, I'm gonna show you again on the other side gonna go in with the middle and then you're just gonna wash left and right and you get a really nice wash of color using the ink lot 6ss brush we're going to diffuse the color deposit and diffuse I don't really want an intense color with this I just want to wash to help blend everything in as we're going with the darker colors later on so all right we're doing it that way. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to a palette. Let me see which one I wanna okay, use. Okay, let's go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills today. I've been using these a lot lately, not on purpose, but they just happen to be in my little basket right here. I kind of I kind of take things out that I wanna use for the week if I wear makeup during the week. So I'm gonna go in with, I wanna say this is Parallel. Parallel, this dark 
color right here. I'm gonna go in with that. Um, and I'm gonna switch to a MAC 224 brush. And I am just going to start to build up this crease area. I'm going to bring it over just a little bit because what I have in mind, I want a um, the deeper colors to extend over a little bit toward the inner corner of the eye. And I'm just gonna keep, see, see, every time I try to be nice and bring them up here, they start. You know I'm talking to you, that's Buster. Okay, Louie's pretty quiet, he's down by my feet. Okay, so we're just gonna continue to deepen this with Parallel from the Anastasia Beverly Hill Prism Palette, yes! Oh, this palette. Y'all forgive me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to another Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm sorry. Modern Renaissance. Okay, I'm gonna go with Modern Renaissance. All right. Um, I guess if you were on a desert island and you only had three palettes, take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Prism and what other? What was the other crazy one? What was the other one? Yeah, Subculture, uh, Renaissance, and Prism. Take those. You'll be fine. You'll be able to be the bell of the ball for any type of um, tropical deserted island party. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go in with, I didn't even tell you guys, Cypress Umber. Cypress Umber, that's what I'm going in with. And I'm still using the 224. Um, and I am just deepening up the outside of this crease area, honeys, yes. And just continue to deepen that. Um, make sure you tap off the excess of your brush so you don't have to worry about a lot of fallout um, as you're applying these colors. Okay, so one more for the win. We might as well, might as well take it all the way out. <laughs> We're gonna go in with the subculture palette next. <laughs> I just thought it was your subculture palette. Okay, and we are going to go into the color Rowdy. Rowdy is this nice dark burgundy brown color right there. Okay, and I'm going to go in with that, still using that 224. And I am going to just blend into that outer V just like that. I'm kind of depositing, and once I deposit, then I'm just gonna blend back and forth with it. Just to get it nice and deep color right there to really smoke out that outer edge. It's really pretty. All right. I think I like the way it's coming along. I really okay, do. So Anastasia is not messing around today, okay? All right, ladies, she's not messing around today. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna add anything to this brush. The last color I had on here was the MAC Double Blush color. And I am just going to just blend everything at this point before I start playing with the lid color. That's all I'm doing with this. Not adding any color, uh, just making sure everything is nice and blended, diffused, what have you. Just like so. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with Max Treasure Hunt Paint Pot. Now, I can't remember if this is a um, permanent or not. It may have come out with a collection. I can't remember. But just use any type of um, any type of sparkly base, I guess. And I am going to just blend this toward the tear duct area on over to the lid. And be careful because sometimes, like I did just now, put too much color on here. So just kind of watch that. And I'm gonna take it all the way to the center of the eye. I don't wanna cut crease per se. So I'm gonna have to go in with one of the um, blending colors that we put down to kind of blend that top part out. Actually, you know what? I can do it with a brush and I don't wanna add anything to it. Uh, let me see. Hold a second. There, I'm just I'm not adding any color to it, but I'm gonna kinda go ahead and blend out those parts right there, okay? And we are just going to lay this down 
I'm gonna come back. I'm going to see if I can choose a lid color. How about that? Choosing a lid color, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the prism palette. Okay, let's go back to the prism palette. Looks like this, remember? Yes, okay, looks like this. I'm going to go in first with Eternal. Eternal is this nice little shimmery color right there. And I'm going to put the majority of Eternal toward the center of the lid, right here. I didn't spray my brush, I probably should spray it. Let me see if I can get it without spraying it. Yeah, okay, so I'm not gonna spray it. I'm just going to pat it here on the eyelid, right on the little rolly part like so, just like that. And then I'm going to take Pyramid. I think, is that Pyramid? I think so. Pyramid is this golden color right here. I'm gonna take Pyramid and I'm going to put Pyramid on the inside toward the tear duct area at the switch brushes. I'm just going from a 252 to a 242. Now, putting, putting that Pearlesque base down really brings your lid colors out with a pop. I got that from Nikki Faces MUA on Instagram. She's also Nikki Faces MUA on Facebook. She doesn't have a YouTube channel yet, um, but she does Instagram Live. She does Facebook Live. Okay, so if you are looking for inspiration just to see this this woman work. <laughs> You owe it to yourself, and I will put all her links below, honey. Yes. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. I'm going to come back and show you how I blend this out because I don't want to miss that step. Somebody might want to know how, uh, which one to blend with. But yeah, so you see the difference, how the pop for the eyeshadows do? Okay, so to blend this out, I'm going to go in with Uninterrupted. You can go in with any of the transition colors that you laid down. I like Uninterrupted um, to kind of go over everything. Like I said, I'm not really looking to do a true cut crease, but um, just to kind of blend this out at the top. And I'm gonna go in with Uninterrupted first. So you can see that, and I'm just gonna work my way back up to all the colors that we used, okay? not Maybe not all of them, but a few of them. And this is what happens when you're not paying attention, okay? Yeah, so I gotta get that off, but I did manage to put my lashes on. Couldn't find my favorite pair of tweezers, and yeah, I think I spent like 10 or 15 minutes. Andy who? So, this is what the eye looks like up close. Yes, okay, so I will come back and we will finish up the face. I'm just gonna show you like the highlights of what I use because I spent so much time on the eyes, I think. So we'll just go from there. Hey guys, so this is the finished look. Um, the wig details I will have below. This is a wig that my mom gave me when I was visiting her this summer. She thought it was too big for her, but <laughs> y'all know, okay, okay. <laughs> Anywho, okay, so on my lips I have Urban, Urban Decay's Barely. Looks like this. this is one of my favorites, Barely. And I don't have any lip gloss over it, just use Chestnut Lip Liner. Um, what else do I have for cheeks? Oh, for cheeks, I just um, used the double blush, the same one we used in the crease area to kind of blend everything together. So I used the double blush. I have like two highlights on um, NARS Albatross, this one. And because y'all have seen this stuff a million times, I usually stay with the same end products. This is Cheeky Bronze by MAC. Love this. And yeah. So, this is it. Mm. Okay guys, y'all know what time it is. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave them down below, I'll answer. As always, take care, stay safe, and God bless. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.